Oh, how's everybody doing? And in reference to movies and TV shows and low makeup artists and special effects of uh, makeup artists and things like that, you know, in reference to movies and TV shows and when I've had to wear fake teeth over my real teeth, I'm not going not gonna to be wanting to do that. So in reference to movies, my real teeth have to heal. You know, I'm not going to be doing movies with... You know, I know in reference to films that that I've been in, in the past, sometimes, you know, I'd wear like a fake thing over my real teeth. Well, you know, these people have damaged my real teeth and I can't, I can't be, I, where's my uh, movie production insurance money reference to these people damaging my teeth? You know, it's pretty serious, you know. You know, I've performed as different artists and, and uh, directed things, directed films and TV shows before. And where's my money, man? This is just stupid. You know, I've been in movies and TV shows since I was little. And hello, in reference to uh, black and white TV shows, in reference to the early years or the 60s or whenever. You know, this is very serious. And don't forget, you know, one day I'll be 12 feet tall or something in the future. Don't forget my mother's real tall. My father was real tall. Don't forget that. My grandfather was tall too. You know, my grandfather, some people thought that he got, you know, real tall. He was what? 14, 15, 16, 17 feet tall. I don't know. I'm not sure. But anyways, you know, in reference to when I was a little boy, I was, you know, younger and then I got injured and I was in a coma, but you know, my grandfather's, I guess, might have been alive back then when I was a little boy. You know, it's a long story in reference to Hollywood history and business history and tycoon history and tycoon lulls. You know, this activity of the satellite man damaging my teeth, these people coming into America and them trying to steal everything from me is violations of law books. And where's my police brutality lawsuit monies? It's even more police brutality when somebody's stealing my lawsuit monies. Is everybody aware of that? But, you know, there's a lot of stories of information of things and facts in history and separating fact and fiction from the activities of these liars and their tricks, you know. It's very important in reference to uh, movies and TV shows, people trying to steal my music or my voice or people trying to steal. Like these people damaging my teeth was trying to mess up my singing and my career because they can't compete or something. That's not fair. Maybe she takes some music lessons or something in reference to singing. Maybe she takes some acting classes in reference to performing in movies or something. Or maybe you've already lost your way. You lost your ride in reference to uh, you got blackballed or something. But in reference to uh, history and film and music and you know, careers, you know, you don't have a right tampering with my career of any career that I have. Maybe you should start your own production company. Why don't you use some of those? Well, maybe some of your politician buddies should, should make their own production company or maybe you've already been blackballed. See, any politician that tries to hurt me gets blackballed from the media no matter what. And they usually get impeached in government. But if they refuse to step down, then, you know, the law offices have to continue and in reference to pursuing the prosecuting against them and in reference to, like, uh, the Treasury and Congress, too. You know, they have to prosecute for their violations in reference to people violating my anatomy or violating my life or violating my lifestyle that I was supposed to be living. You know, I'm supposed to be at my mother and father's mansions. And hello, uh, rail truck driving uh, company, and hello, Crest truck driving company, and other truck driving companies. How you guys doing? And hello, NFL sports teams, and football teams, and baseball and basketball teams. You know, in reference to uh, uh, you know history of entertainment, all the sports athletes I've ever been, you know, I've worn disguises. And the reason why is, you know, some things are for safety reasons, and some things was for, you know, just to not to be 
stalked by people or something, you know, in reference to uh, people stalking me or, and you know, people trying to steal my sperm or blood. So, you know, in reference to my lighter complexion, and when I've dressed up as a, a black artist or a black football player or a different uh, color, you know, it's very important in reference to people knowing the information and arresting people that have tried to abuse me. And, you know, I've had friends in, you know, history and sports athletes and hello, Dennis Rodman said hello. And some other, Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley, how you guys doing? And other people. You know, in reference to Low John Stockton and uh, Danny Ainge and Mark Price and uh, Larry Bird and Kevin McHale and Robert Parrish, low Celtics, right? And uh, hello, in reference to all the other basketball players and sports, a lot of the names. Very important, of course. And people want to know if I ever played Indiana University basketball. And some people want to know if I ever played UCLA basketball. And people want to know if I've been a gymnastics athlete. You know, some people, somebody tried to say that they, you know, I was supposed to be at UCLA. And I was supposed to be one of the gymnastics coaches over there, but I've been held hostage. And hello, UCLA dentistry school. Have you sued these people for damaging my face and teeth? You know, I went to UCLA too, you know. And hello, Harvard Human Rights Offices, all the human rights offices. Have you sued these people? You know, it's very serious. But, you know, I haven't received any of the monies from any of the sports I've been in. And I don't have access to accounts or uh, identification in reference to athletes that I've been in sports. And, you know, they've, they always, people always kidnapped me and held me hostage in Indiana when they tried to steal all my uh, revenues from sports or anything. And some people was wondering in reference to which uh, boxing career I've had or, oh yeah, and somebody communicated earlier too about, uh, they wanted to know if there was a martial artist in the world that has ever beat me in martial arts. I'm not sure what to say about that. So in reference to information, you know, you know, some people wondered if I was an Olympic martial artist or uh, gymnastics or, you know, what sports I've played in. But is there a martial artist that's ever beat me in martial arts? Yeah, you know, I knew Bruce Lee when I was a little boy. Kind of a long story there, huh? But, uh, you know, in reference to... Uh, I was, I was possibly in some Bruce Lee movies, wasn't I? When I was little. Maybe somebody wants to express some information on that. But, uh, you know, and hello and reference to the Little Rascals TV show back in the 1930s. Like some people thought I was born back in the 1930s and then I was in a coma for like 30 years and came out of a coma like in the 60s is what some people thought or in between. You know, I'd been injured so many times. But, uh. I'm real young. I didn't age at all in reference to when I was in a coma. So, you know, I was little and, you know, people wanted to know things. I don't know. You have to look up the information. Somebody has all the information. It doesn't count against my age either. <coughs> <coughs> in this past 20 years that they've held me hostage in Indianapolis is not supposed to count against my age either. And this man damaging my teeth. See, I don't have nothing fake on my body. Everything's real. And you don't have a right damaging anything trying to put fake things on my body. The pieces of raw oil drilling bits that are in my teeth that my parents had put there, or my grandparents, someone might say, or my parents had put there, you don't have a right trying to steal those. You don't have a right damaging my front teeth either. You claim you were trying to communicate something? That ain't how you communicate from a satellite, dumbass. You don't fry people's mouths or teeth. And the Treasury knows that I was trained a little by the Treasury when I was a little boy, too, or when I was younger. They're burning my teeth right now, man. You have to go to prison. But, you know, in reference to uh, movies and TV shows and history, you know, I always wore something over my real teeth. And my real teeth have to heal because any time of uh, any type of sports, any type of fake thing that they put on my teeth always falls off or something, you know. 
if I've been in sports or anything. So it's not a good thing for anything like that. But, you know, in reference to boxing, somebody wanted to know, uh, have I been a boxer? How many times have I been world championship boxing or, or Olympic gold medals or, you know, athletics? You know, some people want to know, I guess, which is important. So, you know, in reference to, uh, you know, what football players or basketball I've played in or uh, PGA golf, if anybody's ever seen me in PGA golf playing or or anything, you know. People need to express the information, you know. You never know. I might have been one of somebody's uh I might have been somebody's favorite player and they may not have known it was me in sports. Hmm. Sometimes I dress up like a black guy, I guess you'd say. For my protection, but obviously that didn't Satellite men are still holding me hostage. And they're stealing all the revenues and all the letters from, from sports teams that know me. And it's just disgusting what these people are doing with their thieving ways. Somebody wants to know how many times I've been Mr. Olympia or how long I've been a supermodel. I've been a supermodel my whole life. I've been an actor and entertainer and singer and performer and business tycoon since I was born reference to me being the child of my mother and father and my grandparents was tycoons too, American tycoons. So if you got a problem with tycoons, government man, or the tycoon word, you're violating American history, which means you need to go to court. And in reference to the history of sports or females in Hollywood that dated me, I don't know why any of the girls haven't came over. You need to make videos needs to be on record, needs to be documented, man. Or females, it needs to be documented. And uh, this is a hostage situation. I don't even know when they're going to turn the unemployment back on. They said it was being reinstated in Indiana, but I looked at the website earlier and it wasn't on there. And, you know, it seems like when they have courts in Indianapolis against these people that are holding me hostage, it still doesn't change anything. I haven't received any court case money or insurance monies. Haven't received any letters to travel anywhere. Haven't received any letters from my mother and father's mansions or from the lawn care crew that works at the property. Haven't received any letters from any of the older, uh, any of the maids or butlers that was maids and butlers of my mother and father when I was growing up. Haven't received nothing. And they're still burning my teeth and face right now. The satellite man is. It's attempted murder every second of every day.